I have been working in the film industry as an animator and a storyboard artist for over 25 years. It's been a long time. We are actually where I feel it all began, in my dad's toy store, Jeffrey's Toys in San Francisco. I grew up working in the toy stores, being surrounded by toys my whole life. My family has owned Jeffrey's Toys and the other toy stores for many generations. When I was about four years old, I drew a really simple cartoon drawing for my dad that was a drawing of him with a stomach ache. He was always worked in the toy stores, but what he wanted to do was work at Disney. And when he saw me do this drawing, that's when he said, you are going to live my dream. And ever since that time, he has drawn cartoons with me, he would take me to animated films. Pretty much he was like that person who made me become who I am today. There was an artist, his name was Price. He would put a squiggle in, and then it was up to the person to draw a bird. And so uh, when we would go, if you didn't know what to do, I could let you just yeah. draw a squiggle and I would make it into a snake on an airplane. And I totally remember when I was in college for animation, one of the things I would do to just kind of prompt myself to be able to be creative and get into the mood would be to draw a squiggly shape for my friend, and my friend would draw one for me, and then we'd challenge each other like, the one I drew for you has to be an animal that starts with the letter T. And he'd say, okay, yours is gonna be something in a kitchen that starts with the letter M. And then later on when I would teach kids how to draw cartoons, I would do the same thing. So all these little, <laughs> he's happy about that. All of these little uh, yeah, we used games to go, I mean, you gave me, I just put, I just, I used all your ideas and put them in books. This wasn't like once a week or once a month. This was every morning, every yeah. afternoon, every night. We, we drew every day. That's what my whole life has been about, is to have fun drawing and teach other kids to do the same thing. I don't think I ever really taught him anything other than inspiration and the desire to do something that other people will appreciate. I really believe that all little kids have that potential. They all love to draw, but as they get older, some of them that really have extra potential that could be doing this are sometimes not encouraged. We've always wanted to encourage anybody to draw or be creative. I know that's a big reason why I did those How to Draw books. I wanted to pass down to them the fun of being able to draw and be creative, and that, that's a good thing.